one. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Woo. Dio gets so What's nervous. Dio gets so I am, nervous. I am, <laughs> I'm sorry, Haka Senpai. I'm going to be very awkward today. <laughs> I'm sorry. In They're, advance. <laughs> they are all so dapper. Like, like you know, before like the, the interview, I'm like, okay, I'm going to call you in 20 minutes so we set up. They're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready. I, <laughs> I, 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 I hit live stream. Wait, wait, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Uh, that's good that I did the same thing too. I was like, bruh, wait, <laughs> are we starting? <gasps> I think it's very mm. nice. I think it's very, very nice. You know, it just, it just really shows that you are very excited <laughs> it's it's not yeah, yeah. like I'm, it's, I'm it's very scary to be in the spotlight honestly. too <laughs> yeah yeah and honestly i think this is my first yeah this is our first like one-on-one -on -one, mm. um with anybody i think mm, 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 that's mm, not mm. armis yeah oh. but i wanted to commend you i mean comment on your space here you like it's you, looking you like pretty nice space? it's very very cozy yeah right? yeah we when we were place. contacted by, by your manager, they said that this was going to be an interrogation because, you know, we're criminals. I'm a badass criminal. But for some reason, I have a Santa hat on. We have hot choco. I guess this is hot choco. Pilk? It's is this pilk. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's boiled. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's boiled pilk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sterilized yeah. pilk. Sterilized pill, mm. exactly. We gotta keep it like uh, we gotta keep it at a uh, hundred Fahrenheit so it kills all the bacteria, oh. and it becomes oh, like God. pure. That's, that's... What's, it, what's it called? Um, distilled, <laughs> distilled pill. <laughs> <laughs> that's why my tongue is burning right now. Ah, it's good. It's for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a bird now. Ah, I'm a bird now. Uh. See? You transform me into a bird. You are the most. Mm. Long, whitest bird I've ever seen in my whole life. God damn it, stop it. Stop being stop, stop saying I'm white. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip in front of you right now. See that? But I am very, very I was, thin. <laughs> I am very thin. I was so. thinking, I was thinking Octavio. I was thinking Octavio like like before we got into the call and I was like, why are you so wide? Why do I have to adjust my size to you? And he's just like, wait, it's just my shoulder pads, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Xenokuni doesn't have the shoulder pad technology yet. No, we don't have it. You know? It has not been distributed yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the side effect of this shoulder pad technology is that it kind of airs your armpits as well. Mm. You know, because there's space for air to, like, circulate. Mm. So that's why I'm always, like, I smell, always smell like spearmint and lemons. So. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Octavio. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to introduce yes, yourself, yes, my... Yes. Fellow yeah, little yeah, dapper, yeah, yeah. My dapper yeah. little fella. <laughs> hey, hey, Hakitos and Octopasi there in chat. I am Octavio, the op. Are you gonna cut me off? No, 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 no. You're, okay, you're, okay. you're my guest here. Okay. <laughs> I am the opulent Oct. I need to pee though. God damn it. Op Octatonic Operatic Puppeteer of Bounty Hunter Unit Armis of Hollow Stars English. My name starts with an O and ends with an O. My name. Is Octavio. What's up? Welcome. Welcome to my stream. I mean, welcome to uh, the interview. <laughs> Haka's interview of me. Welcome. Well, hey. Welcome, welcome, Octavio. It's it's a, it's a pleasure mm. having you here. The name welcome is Bonsai Haka. Well. <laughs> the cute, the cutest, the coolest, the most amazingest, the very uh, spectacular, uh, 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 opportunistic, uh, optimistic. Um. um. Octo oh. Pussy number one fan, Bouncing Hey, Haka why do you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> of why do you English. say it like that? <laughs> oh, isn't it Octo Pussy? Why, is, why does it sound weird when you say it? <laughs> it's it's Octo Pussy, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. For some reason, I heard something else <laughs> earlier. No, 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 no. We. <laughs> <laughs> We are professionals in linguistics here. Mm, doing yes, slip-ups. Yes. We know that octopuses yeah. are a very organized, um, or, or, or organized organization, a very organized yeah, group yeah. of little. What mm. Um, they're a group of fancy smarty pants ah, that are okay, controlled okay, by okay, me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fancy schmancy. They, fancy schmancy. Yeah, I give them free will, <laughs> but sometimes they think they have real free will, but I just give it to them. So you give them the I can illusion. Take it away <laughs> you give anytime. them the illusion of choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they're they think they can do whatever they want, but really, 
I watch them every time, every, every second of the day. And I control their every move by tugging these invisible strings. Which is a Taylor Swift reference, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your disappointed face. I don't know why. <laughs> every time you bring up Taylor Swift, I, I, it's, it's, my brain just shuts down. <laughs> I love. I saw you. You're like, you're so disappointed. <laughs> I love the Octoposi though. I think the bid you didn't get the view with the with the whole contract. I mean, bid or not, I think it was really nice. So let me congratulate you first of all on your debut and also on your monetization. You guys did an amazing oh, thank job. You. I'm thank insanely you. proud of you guys. You guys seriously, seriously brought up the debut to a whole new level. I cannot wait to see what you know the next the next generation to the future. If they come to be, are due for the debut. Yeah, so you guys literally put that up there. <laughs> like it was insane. No, yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be any better debut than us. This is oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've Armis. we've Armis. broken V2. <laughs> it's over. You guys, you guys tilted the <laughs> tilted the scales. It's now all Armist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, congrats on your on your membership. I saw your membership. Oh, thank very you. Sweet, very beautiful. I love your letter. Yeah. Membership stream. Although, oh. a bit of a question, um, your letter to me was, you know, very special. It warmed my heart, but I noticed this letter for you when I was at the front door just now, and I thought it was kind of weird because the huh? handwriting looks mysteriously like yours. Weird. Okay. But anyways, here's what was written in the envelope. Here's a little question for you. Dear Octavia, enclosed here are the date and cause of not just your own, but for each members of Armist debts. Do with this information as you will. Now, the question is, what would you do? Would you open and read the letter of contents? And once you do, you'll be forced to learn all that is written down. And also, tell us, why would you open it? And if not, explain why. Remember, in your line of work, this kind of information might come in helpful. Would you open the mm. letter? Would you know the information? What exactly would you do? Mm. Hmm. Um, first off, thank you for the question. Of course, of what course, a wonderful of course. question. <laughs> we have another Miss <laughs> We have another Miss Universe here. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's in my blood. It's in the South Elysian blood. <laughs> um, but thank you for that wonderful question. Of course, of uh, course. First off, I am Octavio from South Elysium. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> I believe. That, huh? So wait, this letter has my handwriting on it, okay? But uh, it's, it's not the Christmas letter. It's something weird, and there's like the Armist debts in it. It's yeah? a letter. It's a letter for you it's that was addressed to you. For you, in my handwriting. What the heck is going on? I knew it. I knew it. This just means that I cheated death, and I, I'm gonna <laughs> live forever. Heck yeah! I found the answer to my own demise. And now I'm immortal, and I sent myself, my younger self, my 23-year-old self, the letter. Okay. I think I am gonna... I think I'm gonna open the letter. Yes. Oh, I'm, why would you open the letter? Yes. Well, what would you do with you that see, information? You see, Haka, are you afraid of death? Nah, not really. Not really? Yeah, Sweet. I think I heard you before saying that um, death is beautiful. Do you death, something like that? Death is beautiful, but also sweet release, yeah. baby. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> that, makes, that makes sense as well. Well, here's the thing about me, Huck. I am I am very scared of death. You like, are? Literally, yeah, I wake up sometimes and I'm like, crap, another day has passed by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna die someday. <laughs> and I feel like I'm also the type of person that becomes mm. less... Uh, becomes more comfortable and less like anxious if I know what's to come, even if it is my own death. So I'll definitely open up this letter. And what does it say? I, I do I tell you what it says? It's up to you. Like what? Wh like what are you willing to do with that information? Like why do you want to know that information? Okay. Now that I know all the Armis's deaths and their times would, and dates, would, would you tell them? Or would you keep it to yourself? Mm. I think I won't tell them. I'll I think I'll keep it to myself. But what I'll be doing is first I'll be trying my bestest 
for these deaths to not happen to them. And also, I'll also try my bestest to spend our last, to cherish our last moments with them as well. Aww. Why is this question making me cry? Because <laughs> <laughs> I also, I don't want to burden them with the possible information that they're going to die mm. in, a, in the future. I do know that Gerard is okay with dying. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's a dinosaur. He's lived for like 60 million years. It makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if... Ruse has a lot of big dreams and special interests. So I don't know if he'll be happy with his death. And Gibby, Gibby is too precious and too good for this world. I don't want to burden him with his death as well. So I'll keep it to myself and I'll just take a lot of pictures. Make sure Aww. all the memories we share <laughs> are preserved forever. Because, like I said, I'm going to live forever. I am never going to die. As evidenced by this letter. I like that answer. I like that answer. You you are willing to carry with the with the weight of that information to yes. yourself, not to like you yes, know the... basically alarm them and make them make them scared. I like that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's I, I think it's a very selfless act, honestly. Mm, thank you. I don't have these shoulder <laughs> pads for no reason. They're there, so I can carry. <laughs> They're there for carrying. Carry the, <laughs> carry the weight of the world on my shoulders. God you damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You did mention, though, taking lots of pictures. And that's my next question. I do have something related to that. As the photographer of Armis, I was wondering which member of Armis photobombs your photos the most, whether they'll be on oh. purpose or knowingly. And not only that, you got to tell us, do you have any juicy pictures or two of your teammates doing something embarrassing or failing at something that you got to snap a pic of? Tell us what the photo is in the moment. Okay, okay. Um, thank you for the wonderful question <laughs> again. <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Universe. But yeah, uh, when it comes to taking pictures, I love taking pictures. I know, I know mm. the whole the whole thing about taking pictures like, oh no you're not in the moment or whatever and they'll be crying their asses off when they're 70 mm. years old and they don't have any pictures to remember because they're and their memory is failing ha <laughs> ha gotcha but uh when it comes to the question itself um the one who photo bombs my photos the most you'll think it's freaking gerard or mm. you know Ger maybe gerard people are thinking gerard but i think really it's gibby really right yeah because gibby Whenever we go out, actually, I do take a lot of pictures, but Gibby is the one that definitely is like, Oh, Octavio, let's take a picture here. This is a nice place. Let's all pose with our, you know, our normal ass poses and look at mm -hmm. the camera and stuff. And I'm like, nah, I just want to take pictures of the environment and stuff like that. But no, <laughs> we need to look at the camera, smile, and just stand straight and, you know, next to each other, right? Mm. Gerard is off on his own, always doing something. I don't know, his brain is just like... Ah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah. And Ruse is also too too into his special interests mm -hmm. to even care about pictures. But I have a bunch of spicy pictures Ooh. of my own. Yeah. I mean, one of the, the best one, the best spicy picture I have, actually, mm -hmm. is... Uh, I do remember a stream, like a few streams after my debut, I told the people... I promised the people mm. that I will take a picture of Gerard's full moon. <laughs> Gerard's full moon. Yeah, full moon. Because oh, remember he, a he said when he when he when he summons his tail, it, <laughs> it causes like a hole in his pants, right? Which is why he doesn't do it. But I was able to take a snap. I was able to take a picture of that. <laughs> I, I have the receipts. I have the evidence. It's in my it's in my room in the tavern, and I'm, I can show it for the right price. <laughs> for the right price, I yeah, see. Right I price. see. Mm. If anyone's I, interested, I just imagine like you know like Gerard all epic. He basically just finished like beating up like a bunch of like dudes, and he's making like the victory pose. And suddenly like he's making like the very epic pose, but his ass is just exposed. <laughs> it's just a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Whenever we finish a battle, when we're done with corruption beasting, you know, um, of course we take a picture. But before that, I already stabbed pictures already. Mm. Right, right as the battle ended, when he's still, you know, hyped up and all the adrenaline's in his body and his beast mode is 
like a hundred percent oh turned on and i was like <laughs> snap 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 <laughs> you're, you're just chasing them <laughs> yeah yeah uh, gotcha gotcha so get, get a gone. film roll has like yeah a film roll has like 32 shots 15 mm. of those every time is just gerard's but and like i said just call me if you need any pictures or the right amount of uh south elysian coins I see, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So you're available for weddings, you're available for baptizes, you're available for, like, birthday parties. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> These are easy-peasy for me. I see, I have, I see. I have my strings. My strings can hold different types of cameras all Ooh. around the place and take, like, simultaneous shots everywhere. Mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see. I mean, speaking of your strings, I have a bit of a question, honestly. I'm really, really, really jealous of your fancy little puppet strings that you can control. I don't know if you have ever watched Helsing. Do you know Helsing? Um... A little, little, little. No. <laughs> There's this character called... <laughs> Wait, Rock is that the... Mm, is with that Alucard. the red... red yeah, yes, 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 yes. It, the, your okay, strings okay. remind me of Walter C. Dorms. He also has like a bunch of like very thin strings that he can cut people and stuff like that. And uh, I just think it's oh. so cool. <laughs> but I think it's very, very nice that you have, you know, like those fancy little strings you can control. But I wanted to ask you, what are the three greatest perks in having a puppeteer strings in your command? I mean, <laughs> uh, I know, I know everybody's, you know, very jealous of my strings, right? Mm. My strings are like the best weapon in all of Elysium, even more than your spears. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Because I can behead people if I oh. wanted to, but I'm not because I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. <laughs> uh, and people have families and their future is ahead of them. So uh, sometimes I need to, but most of the time I, di I haven't, you know, I give people the benefit of the doubt. But... God damn it, I need to stop talking too much. Anyway. That's okay, the, that's okay. Speak no. your heart out. <laughs> no. Thank you for the question once again, Haka Senpai. Um, where, where are the other my, perks, the though? Three greatest, mm. The gr three greatest perks of my strings is first. This is one thing that I learned, actually, from the Octopussy. Oh. Is that I can use my strings like Spider-Man, right? Like, so I basically, when I, when I found that out, I've been swinging around the tavern. <laughs> 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 Every day, <laughs> I need food from the refrigerator. I'll swing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I when I have when I need like the remote for a TV, I'm like, whing, whip, whip. <laughs> and I get and I got the remote. Yeah, I'm freaking. That comes in very handy. Mm. Gerard grabs yeah, you. And he's yeah. like, you gotta stop Octavio. You're like, nah, I do it my own way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's just the first perk. Even then, I'm like, oh, that's a Marvel superhero. That's Not a Marvel me. superhero perk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The next one is, the next perk is second of all, is okay. I have my puppets do everything for me. When I'm very, when I'm super lazy, you know, and I'm just lazy, lazy, lazing around because I'm okay. sleepy and stuff. I like use my strings to control all my puppets. Now my puppets really think that they're just bringing food for me on their own whims, on their own, you know, I don't know. Volition! Wow, you're, you're gaslighting, gaslighting, yeah. girl yeah. bossing, and gatekeeping them. Oh yeah. my god! They think they're just cooking a delectable Victorian breakfast for me, but in reality, I'm the one controlling them. So, that is another perk. I have an armada of puppets okay. to serve me every day, which no one has except me. Right. I think they know what they're doing. They're probably mm. just doing yeah. it because you're nice. Uh, hmm. <laughs> they, I don't they, know about that. They find out. They find out. It's just like the Hakitos, you know. And at the Hack Cafe, like we we had a nice like business establishment, and they were all so happy to volunteer. They're like, "Oh my god, yes, we are here. We're we're helping you." But then after six months, they're like, "Wait a second, <laughs> this is this is unpaid <laughs> labor." Wait a second. <laughs> oh. oh no, they realize it. It's unpaid labor. They they're well, well working for exposure only. They're gonna unionize. They're gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get sued. I want to believe you that you're saying I'm nice, but I can feel it in my heart. The darkness in my heart. There's a door to darkness in my heart that is always open. <laughs> Bro, have you seen my arm? I'm I literally think... darkness. <laughs> oh yeah. Want me I... to slay your arm for you? I cannot. With uh, as Spider-Man. It, I can... it... It regrows. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> um, I don't like gross things. I'm a very clean and nice smelling boy. All right. Third perk. All right. Let's go. Is, Third perk. I don't just control strings. You know, the typical Ooh. puppet strings. I control anything that is a string. So ah. sometimes, sometimes when I'm hungry in the middle of the night, 1 a.m., I'm like, oh, I need a snack, right? I summon the string cheese <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from the refrigerator. And there's like a there's like a string cheese opening the refrigerator and coming straight to my room and straight into my mouth. And I'm, 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 oh, what a nice snack. Sometimes noodles. Noodles are just strings okay. as well, but carbs. Those are strings too. Those are strings too. So you are, you are the freak at 3 a.m. under boxers opening the fridge, literally just to grab yeah. a just to grab a little pinch of string cheese. <laughs> That's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. Exactly, you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I get hungry. You know. You're way too I old. I do a lot though. of things. I do a lot of things in my sleep when I dream. Ooh. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my physical activity, dreaming. That's... that's why I'm very, very thin <laughs> and thick at the same time. That's why I have shoulder pads to hide <laughs> the thinness. I mean, honestly, it just seems like you're OP as hell. Thank you so much. Dude. Thank you so much for answering. Thank you so much for letting me know your great no tree problem. perks. I mean, more like perks, it seems like different uses of what you can use your evil powers to. Because it seems like you're evil. You're all... Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're malevolent. You are... Uh, Look at my the, eyes. The, the owner of destruction. I see that. I see that. You, um, you're um, you a good boy. You're a good boy, but you're an evil boy. Is, is, is that okay? Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now, let's put this in a perspective, all right? All right, all right. Close your eyes. I need full immersion. You mentioned you love dreaming, so dream about this one. <laughs> I just... <laughs> okay. I closed my eyes. You just immediately close your eyes. Okay. I'm closing all right. my eyes. All right, all right. So this is a question I want to ask you. Let's say you and the boys are in a mission. Okay, all right. For some reason, oh. it leads the four of you to a complicated maze with the goal of your mission being at the end of it. You all decided to split up to cover more ground. You, with your big brain and cool puppeteer powers, are the first to make it <laughs> to the end. You see a treasure chest at the maze, on top of a pedestal, right? For some reason, your gut feeling tells you whatever is in that chest is the item you desire the most in the world. Tell us, what item would that be? Ooh. Remember, it has to be an item, no concepts or anything, something that exists on the physical plane of reality. Once you reveal to us what it is, tell us why it's the thing you want the most in the world. Oh, yes. But thank you for the wonderful scenario. And mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of, it was very immersive, you know, hearing your voice in my head <laughs> and me just seeing the darkness of space. And I'm like, wow, I'm being I'm a in bedtime story <laughs> by Haka Senpai. That's, oh, that's a dream come true. You know, I thought I mean, you hated us, bro. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, kind of, because you're so amazing, right? <laughs> How do I be like you? Why no, are you I, like this? Why are you, why are you I mean, cool? I'm just a little dude. <laughs> why am I just a dork? Why am I a dork? I only have a door to darkness, not a door to darkness. And that's what makes you Wait, what, what? What was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, maze. Yeah, maze you're in a, you're, you're, you're in a maze. End. There's a chest yes, at the yes, end. Yes. And what big you- Big brain. Yeah, big brain. What you have in the mm -hmm. chest is what you want the most in the whole world. It has to be an okay. item in this existential plane of reality. What would that item okay. be and why? So this is easy peasy for me. Mm. I would like to find a letter in there saying, letter, now you have financial stability. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But yes. Also not kidding. But kidding. But not I see. kidding. I see. I but see. anyway, the actual item that I want to see. Now, you're going to get disappointed in me again. You're going to get disappointed in me. Okay, let me know. So let me let me show let me tell you about deep lore, deep Taylor Swift lore right now. All right, okay, okay, so, okay. I'm, I'm down, I'm <laughs> down, I'm down. <laughs> so there's this thing, right? I want to make sure first. Let me search it up okay. if it's real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's this thing. She has a hat. I believe it's a hat, right? That she gives out during her concerts for the Eras tour. 
Oh. Now, I think it's a hat. I think it's a hat, if I remember correctly. Now, if if you are in a position to get this hat, okay, you are also in a certain position in the concert hall, right? You are straight in front of the concert stage if you if you get this hat. Because okay. what Taylor Swift does is during one of her songs, 22, where she oh. talks things about how she's 22, right? Okay. And I'm 23. So we're ju- we were just one year apart during that time, which is incredible. But now she just had her birthday, so she's now 34. And oh. I'm 23, so there's like an age gap now. Um... But she's happy with Travis Kelsey already, so that's fine. And <laughs> Travis Kelsey seems to be very mature anyway, even if he's like a football player. Uh, I don't really watch football, but he seems pretty cool. And I think they're pretty happy together right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get, they went away on a getaway car the other day, and I was like, wow, that's great. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're, uh, if you, yeah, what, in her song 22, she basically goes straight to you if you're in front of the stage and gives you the hat. Literally, you can touch her. You can at least you can touch the hat that touched her. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So I want that hat. <laughs> but why do you want that? So I can feel good about myself. <laughs> 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 so I can be a real. So I know that I'm a real, real fan. Because only there's probably how many Eras tour has she had so far. I don't know, maybe 20, 30, I don't know. But I'll be one of those people. Literally the top 1% of fans who have Taylor Swift's hat. And I think by then I'd be okay with dying. If I do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So not only you won the hat, but you also won the divorce paper so you can have a chance with Taylor Swift, I see. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I see, I see that, I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think your, fas- <laughs> your your fascination is very endearing. I think, um, I mean, I'm actually best friends with Taylor. You don't know that, but I'm going to shoot her a message. I'm going to shoot her uh, a Snapchat. Better be Taylor Swift, <laughs> not Taylor Smith. Oh, uh, God damn it. I, I thought Taylors were the same, you know? They, they, they yeah, all, yeah, they all yeah. call Taylors, yeah. yeah. God they're damn it. T- yeah, they're w is <laughs> M is just an upside down W. So there you may you may get confused by Taylor Smith. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. Because okay, okay. here's the thing: Taylor Swift doesn't follow anyone. She doesn't follow anyone. So I don't what? believe you. I don't believe anyone when they're friends with Taylor Swift. Wait, what? And I she, think the why does she not follow anyone? Because we're all beneath her. Why would we? Why would she follow <laughs> anyone? Right. Who would you follow? You would only follow the people you think are above you. Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, Regis Altair, right? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Why would you follow anyone below you? Like, all of us. Compared to Taylor Swift. Shed, you're right. Honestly, we, we're on a whole different perception. <laughs> we're on a whole different, like, existential plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Speaking of the concert, though, I I, I think it's very very oh. nice that you want to go. You know, would you want to be in a Taylor Swift concert? But I also saw as one of your goals is to actually have a concert one day. So my next question yeah. is: Can you make a dream set list for us for your concert? It can be a mini one with uh, let's say five to six must-have songs in your dream concert. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh man. First off, I would love to have a concert with you as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be, that'd be insane. But it's yeah. all about you and... right now, my sweet little boy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay yeah. <laughs> all right. So, ideally, I would like to sing all my songs, all my future songs that have yet to be made, right? Uh, one of them is well, that's a secret. Octavio's puppet show. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Octavio's puppet show. Yeah, that song. That's the opening. Ah! That's the opening. Yeah, yeah. The most incredible song made in the existence of man. But not woman, because Taylor Swift exists in that space. Um, So, here are my songs for now. First Mm. off, I would like to start with a song that's really close to my heart. And I imagine this being... um, There being a full freaking orchestra behind Ooh. me when I sing this. Yeah. 
Um, if it's a 3D concert, then I expect 3D orchestra players. Holy members. crap! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of them. Who, who every, cares about the frame rate? Every, need fi- every RTX finger 40, must be 90. Yeah, every finger must be yeah, red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It must be accurate. Yeah. Yeah, RTX 5 or RTX 4090s to play Heck this concert. Yeah. And the first song is if Disney agrees with it, simple and clean, of course. Of course. From Kingdom of, Hearts. Of course, of course it is. Right? Of, course of course it course. is. Yeah. Uh, what a boring answer. Of course you know. No, that's no, no, but no. I think it's here's very Here's another nice. answer. Here's, okay. a, here's a next song, right? Mm-hmm. Another Kingdom Hearts song. <laughs> Okay, 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 but it's Sanctuary, right? Oh, Sanctuary is good. Kingdom... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts two. So wait, you didn't say Simple and Clean is good. So you're saying it's bad? No, Simple and Clean is a really good song. But I honestly, okay, uh, okay. if you put it like right next to Sanctuary, I feel Sanctuary does hit like a bit stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wise. yeah Sanctuary yeah, yeah. is. I feel like Sanctuary is, uh, a bit more underrated compared to Simple and Clean. Agreed. Just because Simple Clean, Simple and Clean is super iconic, but Sanctuary yes. is so good. I saw a cover, a rock cover of Sanctuary on Ooh. YouTube, and I was like, holy, this works really great as a freaking rock song, so I want to do that. You know how um, in Final Fantasy concerts, mm-hmm. uh, especially when they play something like One Winged Angel, they yeah. have like an electric guitar shredding, mm-hmm. shredding the electric guitar and an orchestra at the same time? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ooh, so that symphonic kind of metal kind of you yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I see. You, you have a you have a term for it. You're, you're such a musical genius, Haka. <laughs> I don't even know what that was called. Symphonic we are. Metal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, what other songs? What other songs? Now, for another song, when it, I guess uh Meltdown. Ooh. Is definitely a song I really want to sing. Yeah, just because I you know it's very very challenging. Mm-hmm. It goes up like <laughs> something like yeah, that yeah 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 and it's also such a classic really nice song i just i just love it so much meltdown yeah yeah so dude that's, that's, that's like song. peak mm-hmm. vocaloid that's like i remember yeah, when i was yeah, like yeah, super yeah. super young i listened to yeah. meltdown for the first time and also double lariat i remember i discovered meltdown and double lariat at the same time and it was like such a it was like such a like contrast i was like whoa Wait a second, Vocaloid music? Dude, it, Vocaloid is crazy. I, I can talk about Vocaloid the whole day. <laughs> it's so, I mean, so good. It's it's crazy. Whenever I mm. think about you, Haka, I know that like music music is just in your blood. You know? it's yeah. In your brain, it's, in your, it's in your saliva, it's in your sweat glands, it's in your pee, probably. Mm. Um, yeah, it's in, it's in everywhere. I think you and me are a bit different with regards to that. Because um, I did tell you long ago mm-hmm. that you know, Vocaloid, Japanese songs I've been into maybe for the, just the past like two to three years. Um, mm-hmm. I never really was aware of like the Yutaite, Yutaite stuff and stuff like that. But I think for me, when it comes to music, I definitely prefer, it's not music per se, but it's more of the stories that come with it. And that's why I love music like Simple and Clean, Sanctuary, because they're connected with uh, Kingdom Hearts. Mm-hmm. Then I love songs like Weight of the World because it's connected with Nier. Oh, Nier, that's that's uh, a good Automata. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, Final Fantasy songs and stuff like that. So, but Meltdown, it's not really connected to anything, I think. But it just really appealed to me. So I would definitely love to sing that as well on my concert. Okay, Ooh. next song, next few songs here. The other song that I really want to sing to show. Maybe some range, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay. Yeah, not not really range, but but we'll see. Alice of Human Sacrifice. Oh, dude! Yeah. Have yeah. you seen some covers of that song? Like, yeah. like, it's literally one person. It's one person that covers like every single voice of it. That's like something I would love to do one day. Cause like, yeah, the, yeah, ah, it's so nice. <laughs> like being able to like play around with your voice and you know just basically adding all your different ranges like. Ah, it's so sick. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, I would love to Very do good a choice. cover of that one day as well and just be the mm-hmm. sole singer. But I ho- we'll see. We'll see. I need to I need to practice like different voices for it. <laughs> mm. You know, hit different too. Kid voice, there's a female voice and oh what? An acapella cover of that too. Oh like, bro. 
like making it like very Maybe. like you know like Victorian like oh, oh, oh. you know like so so cool that'll be oh. so nice <laughs> I'm gonna buy that idea from you Hanka. heck Maybe yeah the copyright the trademark the DMCA for that idea <laughs> <laughs> and and last song mm. is uh, I'm sorry again Haka I'm sorry okay but I would like to do a medley of uh -huh. Don't Blame Me and Look What You Made Me Do by Taylor Swift. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Yes, so, I'm <laughs> so, so, the movie of the Eras Tour is out. And okay. I beg you to watch it if you want to. <laughs> we should, wa we okay. should watch it together. Yeah. I need to yeah. understand. But, <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> but there is there is this there is this two songs, Don't Blame Me and Look What You Made Me Do. Okay. And, for even for non Swifties, if you watch that, that's like a religious experience. I'm telling you, the transition between those two songs is. <laughs> I can't even describe it. It's like, huh? My eyes, my ears, my nose, my brain, everything be tingling. It's so good. It's like ASMR, but loud. It's a religious experience, they say. In the chat. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is a religious. Yeah, see. Okay. No, no. All right, all right, all right, mm. all right, all right. Yeah, all right. those are my songs for the concert I'm envisioning right now. <laughs> Holy mm. crap! I'll never. I'll probably won't get friggin' perms for that, but whatever. <laughs> hey, you know that's what an archive karaoke's are for. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. Now, as a bonus question to the previous question I asked you. Hmm? Let's say, after you have your whole concert, right? Let's have you and I make a set list for the portion of the concert where we duet. Oh! What songs do you think we'll kill on stage together? If we ever have a concert together. <sighs> ah! Okay, I actually know this. Okay. I actually know this. I've been thinking about this the other oh. day. You shared to me that you freaking love uh, Sid, right? Yes. yes. I love Sid and so much. While I don't know most of his songs, I do mm -hmm. know... Monochrome No Kiss. Ooh. From uh, Kudo Dude. And I think that'd be a freaking banger song to do that'd together. That'd be amazing oh, yeah. to do together, dude. Yes. I mean, you already got your butler outfit, bro. Look at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, al I'm already ready, Haka. I'm already ready. <laughs> Heck I'm yeah. I'm off the jacket. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gotta say, you gotta say, yes, my lord. Yes, my Lodo. Yes, my Fuck Lodo. yeah, dude. Man, <laughs> I love Kurosutsuji so much. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Is there any other song you think we'll kill together? You know, it just doesn't have to um, be one. It's got to be multiple, dude. Yeah, I mean, the mm -hmm. other song that I, I pitched to you this song long ago. Oh? Is... What was that song? The... the <laughs> was it the first DM you sent me? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I forget the title. Maybe people in chat know. Oh. oh no! Oh, I disappeared. I disappeared oh, no, for Octavia, a second. Octavia, remember, remember, it's it's, it's it's a magic portion of the show, dude. It's a magic here, portion I'm of here, the show. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Remember. And now, Hakito's and Octoposi for my next trick. I'm going to make Octavio appear right in front of your eyes. In just a couple seconds, will I gather my magic abilities. Oh, Octavio. Octavio, manifest and feed. Manifest in front of me right now. Whoa. Yeah. Heck yeah. 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 <laughs> Whoa, we, we totally planned that. Absolutely, yes. absolutely, bro. It was yeah. it, it was scripted, remember? It's in the it's mm -hmm. in the it's in the teleprompter yeah. right there behind you. Exactly. The moment <laughs> I said doo -doo 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 is when I disappear. <laughs> mm -hmm. And without you is when I disappear. Oh, oh. Is, it, that's, oh. is that the lyrics? <laughs> no, you. Uh, that's the lyrics. So you. So basically, the first song that Octavio ever sent to me that he wants to do with me is Giddy Giddy I. Ikenai yeah. Borderline. <laughs> borderline, that's the song. Ikenai yeah. Borderline, dude. Ah, oh, that'll be so yeah. sick to actually do together. That'll be amazing. That'll be such a good ass song. Oh, dude. I love that song so much. Freaking... I got exposed to that song. Mm -hmm. Just do you know Vesper Bell? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, they're, that's, they're that's super, the super talented. Super, to. super talented. Oh, so good. 
They're amazing so B singers. Good. I've been following their 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 work for such a long time, and honestly, like the mm. quality they have, and like you know, just how they interpret songs, how they make like MBs and stuff like that. It's just uh, so so good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a it's a so wonderful good. group unit. I love it. <laughs> so yeah. so good. How about you? What do you think we oh? should sing together? I am the interviewer oh, now. Okay. Okay. All right. 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 Okay. Honestly, I think a song that we would sing really good together based on the elements of it, because it's also like very orchestral and also metal, I think we would absolutely kill Sweet Central and Drug. That's like a classic, a classic of a classic by Murio Kupi, one of my favorite uh, vocal producers. Bruh, I don't know that song. You know that song? Sure it sounds good. <laughs> I, I don't know that song. <laughs> I am an uncultured swine. You're an uncultured <laughs> swine, and there's also another great song, which is funny because it's 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 the greatest show on earth by Utsipi. Huh? The Hugh greatest Jackman? show. The, the, no, no, the, the the greatest show alive. <laughs> the greatest show. It's a really oh. good Utsipi song as well. That will be really really good. It's super orchestral as well. I have a lot of, to... of, of, of yeah. I'm gonna send it to you after the yeah, interview because. Send... You need to send Hyper to reality show, my bad. Hyper reality show. I was literally sending the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's send really, it really good. Honestly, you've sent me so much already, and I've been learning so much. And also, I'm super happy they've been popping up on my recommended as well. So, Heck yeah. Yeah. I am training your algorithm. <laughs> yes. I'd say, honestly, I'd say I'm a freaking normie when it comes to mm. the Vocaloid. And the Japanese songs, I guess. I do know a lot of songs from anime. Like I told you, if the mm. anime has a good like opening and ending, then yes. Oh, you know what would be also a good song? Oh, for both of us mm -hmm. is uh the Dan 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 Hakunaru. Hakunaru ga letaru. Oh, Dan Dan Kokoro! Yeah, 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 from Dragon yeah. Ball GT, dude. I loved that opening yeah. so much. Just, it's really, just, really yeah, good. Just because it's you know it's very positive. It's and nostalgic light as hell as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So mm. good. Oh man, I, I love Dragon Ball. Do you like Dragon Ball? Yes, of <laughs> Heck course. Yeah, <laughs> Urgh, it's my childhood. Dude. It's the only thing I could watch. You know, here's the thing about Dragon Ball. It's mm. funny. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, back when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, when a 23 year old kid wait i need to burp <laughs> <laughs> i'm burping back when i was a kid right so okay there's this thing new thing on the block called the internet oh right? yeah, i heard about that yeah i got the freaking 384 kilobytes per second holy internet, crap right? mm -hmm. the dial up <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so every i think it was every it was maybe every day or something every day there was a new episode of Dragon Ball on TV, right? Okay. Then it got up to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and all that good stuff. Now, here's the thing. Because okay. I have internet, I discovered that this Dragon Ball anime series has already run its course in Japan. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's still airing on TV, but in South Elysium, but in Japan, it's, it's all complete. Right? Mm -hmm. So I went on. I was like, Dragon Ball Z episode summaries. <laughs> oh my so, god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I so I found what was currently airing, right? I found what was currently airing. Mm -hmm. So episode, episode 90 or something. So I know oh, tomorrow episode 91 is gonna show up. So I I search episode 91 summary. Okay. And I find out this guy dies, this well, this <laughs> happened, and stuff like that, right? So I go to school the next day. And I'm okay. like, guys, 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 I know, I think I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I know what later. happens. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have a theory. This is all from my mind uh, because I'm such a Dragon Ball Z fan. I think this is what's going to happen next. Goku is going to die or sell or whoever the heck. And okay. bro, bro, it comes true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Dragon Ball expert. I know I'm a I'm a story analyzer. I know how to analyze plots and stuff like that. I know Dragon Ball from the inside wow. out in my school. Mm -hmm. I was that guy. I was him. 
Apollo, the gift of prophecy, a Victorian child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He became a prophet for his land, and they hated him for saying yeah. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a prophet. I know things that you don't know. I know that there's also going to be a Dragon Ball GT. Holy Imagine shit. their minds how I was blown when I said, you know, there's going to be a new Dragon Ball. It's going to be called GT. And there's going to be <laughs> like a long-haired Goku somewhere in there. Bruh. A long-haired, black-haired Goku <laughs> instead of the Super Saiyan Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh, there's a Super Saiyan. There's a Super Saiyan 3. 2, 3, 2.5. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know anymore. Ima imagine <laughs> Im with your little brain when you discovered it was going to be a Super Saiyan 4, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people were like, oh, it's going to have, he's going to have white hair. It's going to be long and I remember there was a image of Goku floating around long ago. I think, mm. I, I think it was Super Saiyan 4 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just Broly. A white-haired <laughs> Broly or something. They loved and... making the edits, dude. I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was a fun time. That was a fun time. I haven't been caught up on the new mm -hmm. Dragon Ball. Have you? No, honestly, like, ever since I st uh, I guess ever since, I don't know, I just started watching other anime, I literally stopped. I knew about Dragon Ball Super, and, like, the last thing mm -hmm. that I saw was, like, the Battle of the Gods, and that's about it. But I watched the movies, though, but I'm not, like, super, like, up to date with the yeah, manga. I, I heard it's, watch really, yeah, it's, I heard it's really well. good. No. Now super there's, like, good. a, what, a Super Saiyan, Super Goku Rosé? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds delicious. You can't keep, yeah, you really can't drink. keep up. You really can't keep up nowadays, yeah. dude. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, it just, like, expands itself so Crimson much. Rose. Crimson Rosé. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crimson Rosé. Crimson Rosé. Isn't there going to be a remake of Dragon Ball? I have no something? idea. Oh, no, it was One Piece. Yeah. Oh, one, oh yeah, I, saw, I, I heard about that. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, there's going to be a remake of what? Season? I don't know. Like, the first arc, I guess, mm. of One Piece. Made by Wit Studio. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Damn. The guys who made, like, the first few Attack on Titan seasons. Oh, Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you for Actually, ends. One oh, of the go songs, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One, of, one mm. of the songs I also want in my concert is freaking We Are in One oh, Piece. Oh, dude, that's a good song. Yeah, it's, just, it's the first opening, yeah. right? Yeah, just because it mm. really lifts my spirits when I when I sing it. Like, I remember when mm. long, long ago, here, a story time again. All right, okay, um, let's go. I felt... Whenever I told my best friend, was like, mm -hmm. you know what? If I feel bad, here's what I need you to do: just play the OP for One Piece, and I'll feel better again. So, yeah. That's. I, I mean, that it's a very energetic song. It really makes you feel like you can like literally carry the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The power of friendship and is powerful. Yeah, you can really feel the Nakama ship. You can feel you have a bunch <laughs> yeah. of Komodachi sons. Oh, I had a bunch Damn. of Komodachi sons and. Nakama ships back then, they were characters in One Piece. Just you yeah. wait, just you wait, Octavia. We're gonna become Yonkos one day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yes. be sick as hell. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> Thank you so much for answering my 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 beautiful question about your beautiful concert. Mm -hmm. Honestly, whenever Thank that you happens, for the wonderful question. I <laughs> I can't wait. I, I I really can't wait to see your first concert, dude. Like, whenever it happens, I'll be literally there in the first line. I'll be cheering. I'll be like. I'll Waiting give you my, my hat. Lights. <laughs> you give me my your, the twenty two hat. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you my Santa hat right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave this to me, so I'm just giving it back. Holy so. crap! It's returning to sender. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, this my is my new, this is my gift to you, Haka. I totally bought this myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't. I I got it from a little mystery bag. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Ooh. After concerts, I would assume you're very, very exhausted. So my next question here is, you wake up. Today is your day off. It's going to be a good fucking day for Mr. Octavio. Describe what a perfect day will be like for you. What do you like doing your days off? Hmm. What is a perfect day to me? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the beautiful question. It truly you're is welcome. an you're important welcome. question of our time to know what I do on my days off. But let's see. Uh, a good day to me, a good day of waking up to me is I wake up without a headache. Okay. A, cle a, a clear nose. Okay. And no back pain. 
Um, let's see. What else? What else can make this picture better? Uh, okay. Clear nose, no back pain. Uh, it's colder outside than usual. Okay, all right, all right, all yeah. right. I like but that. But the I sun like is that. still up and still bright, right? But okay. it's cold. You can feel the the shiver, a little bit of the shiver when when the wind passes through your your skin and like oh ooh, the, it's very chilly outside. Wow. The grass is still wet, you know, it still has to mist yeah, the in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh bro! Yes! My voice is changing, I'm sorry. I, I feel I feel that in my bones. And I probably look to my side. I turn to my side, the left side of my bed, because I usually sweet uh, sweet sleep on the right. You <laughs> sleep um, on the right. It just, it just yeah, I sleep on the right because the AC is pointing towards that side, so that's where I get the get the wind. <laughs> He gets so fro. He turn, gets frozen when he yeah, sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> I turn over to my left side, and I okay. see a hundred million dollars next to me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that feels like a good day. That sounds like a good day. And then I look at my hundred million dollars, all cozied up beside me, and then I take my credit card, which is an unlimited amount of money inside, and I swipe it. I swipe it on my phone. I just do a swipey swipey. And then I buy a Sora, Kairi, and Riku Nendoroid without even thinking twice about it, right? Uh, actually, Ob actually... Oddly uh, specific, but yes, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Sora, Kairi, and Riku Nendoroid. And you know what? I feel a little bit... This is a perfect day today. Okay. So maybe I'll splurge a little more and buy the Riku and Axel uh, Nendoroid as well. Right? Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling a little fancy today. I'm splurging. <laughs> then... I go to my dining table, and I sit at my dining table, and have breakfast, which is probably two hot dogs, one, one sunny side up egg, okay, and fried rice. See, that's All a thing right, that okay, as often. okay, fried okay. Fried rice, right? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Delicious. I delicious. Eat delicious. With one foot on top of my chair, you know it's a good day when that happens. <laughs> Like, and, like, 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 is is your food like sideways? Is it like curled up, like freaking like L for yeah, Death yeah. Note? Like, 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 what's like, what's the yeah, angle? Kinda like, here? Yeah, kind of like, kind of like L, kind of like L. Oh, okay, all right, you know, all right, all right, all right. You know what? There was there was a time where I was super edgy in my life where I, well, I'm gonna be L. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a freaking dork. I hate myself so much. So what I did was I'm like, I held my phone in the weird ass freaking way. <laughs> That L does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're just I'm pinching. Ashamed. You're pinching your phone over your ear. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I'm gonna go. No, come yeah, back, come I, back, come I'm back. Just, I just pinch my phone like that. I'm like, ah, uh, <clears throat> I wish that note was real. <laughs> In um, what yeah. way? <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, no. Some sometimes I do. Oh, okay, so can, okay, okay, okay. So I can, you know, just threaten people with it. Ah, I'm a bad boy. I, I, I see, yeah, I yeah, see, yeah. I see, I see. I'm I see. a bad boy, yeah. Um, the day is probably Christmas as well, or my birthday. Oh, that's a, that's a nice, perfect day for me. Yeah. On on my day offs, I basically just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep and um, sleep, eat, mm -hmm. and do nothing. I don't you, even play games anymore. You don't do anything. Because, yeah, because I've I've been corrupted by the streamer mindset. <laughs> the streamer mindset. Do, do you feel that? You don't even play games anymore offline. Actually, honestly, the first time I played a game offline for such a long time is freaking Minecraft. During the impromptu collab we had. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I spent yeah. like literally one hour mining cobblestone for Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Hey, that was fun. I, I had super mm, fun. With that. No, but I feel you yeah. though. That the streamer mindset yeah. really like. Whenever I see something fun, I always think like, "Oh, this will be fun to do on stream." Or every time I look at yeah. something, like every time I go to the supermarket and I see like a new fucking toy that I can do ahead, can we like, "Ooh, this would be good for a stream." So I yeah, I always do that. So I, I feel you on that so, one. Yeah. So literal off days where there's no stream. I do nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing because this would be better on stream. You know, me... Uh, okay. Me... I don't know, cleaning my room? Mm -hmm. This would be better on stream. 
Yeah. Me, me picking up, me cleaning out the litter of my cat. This would be better on stream as well. Hand cam, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me saving this poor guy's life that's dying on the street. Well, it's an off stream day for me. This would be better on stream. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, what Octavia. Am I saying, yeah. Shut the God fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Octavia. Thank you, no. Octavia. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, next uh, question. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I told you, I told you to stop me from talking if things go weird. <laughs> Our philanthropist, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Things will definitely become become weird. Oh boy. CPR <laughs> hand cam. <laughs> <laughs> no, CPR hand no, cam. No, <laughs> that's so bad. CPR, I have to freaking go home first and wear my, uh, you know, my sleeves with the mm -hmm. ruffles and stuff and then get my gloves. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but you're just doing I need this. to put on my gloves first. You're doing the CPR like, ah, 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 stay alive. No. <laughs> that's that's going to be a problem because that's going to be unarchived. Yeah, it it's going to be, be archived. Un unarchived CPR hand cam. Yeah, that's going to be unarchived. So if I really want my stream to be there on the internet for a long time, I need to... Th I need to check uh, what our perms thing is check for any songs with that BPM that we have perms for that's probably Japanese. Oh my god. I don't think we know I don't think I know any songs that have that same BPM in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We are? I'm gonna sing we are. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just dies because you never start. <laughs> no. No. Oh my god. Jesus. How did we get here? I why why, know, why, why do you do this to me? Why do your questions lead me to this space in my head? Hey, that's that's all on you, buddy. You have a uh, your um uh, that's on you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These these thoughts just swirl in my head like a like an unending hurricane, like an unending that. march of time to our deaths. The never-ending spiral of pain that is the existence of every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spain, pain without the S. Pain without, Spain the without the yeah, yeah, yeah. Sp Spain without the A. Spin. <laughs> yeah, A's. spin, spin. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so Spain much. Spain like, without Damian. the P and A. Spin. <laughs> oh, we're going on the deep end. This emo, this yeah, we we, we really are going at it right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to change the colors to black and white so we can be edge. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so next question. I'm not too sure though. I don't know if you have seen the other interviews. It's time for that one question. The boy should have given you a heads up. But I unintentionally collected everyone's in Arvis Tinder profile bios for this interview. So since two out of the Tinder? four <laughs> since two out of the four boys <laughs> with Gerard and Goldie, I gotta keep going, okay? So Octavio. Give us your five buzzwords that you label yourself with. Examples. Oh my 20, god. Lover. Drama. Drama queen. Fancy. Fur babies. Vibes. What would your five <laughs> buzzwords be? Vibes? That's yeah. so corny. Okay. Wait. What were the others? Well, Gerard started with power, money, hungry, handsome. Um, okay, okay. Power, money, oh, yeah, but power, money, hungry, handsome. M mommy? mommy, was it? Uh, some, some, no, mommy? no, no, no. What that's gold. That's Goldie. Goldie's. Goldie okay. is mom, wine, yoga, food, yoga, yoga. Oh, yoga. Entrepreneur. Wow. He said, okay. "Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah." You're wow. an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah, an. Yeah. Feels like an Instagram profile. Okay. It's a Tinder profile, you know. He's trying to get all the. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get all the all, all the armada. <laughs> Okay, I think I know what mine is. Okay. Uh, if it's a Taylor live, Swift song, laugh, like... eat, pray, love. Is that Taylor Swift song? No, no. <laughs> why? Why does that sound like a Taylor Swift song? <laughs> it's not. I swear to you. <laughs> that sounds like an I album. That sounds like an um... album name. <laughs> Live, laugh, eat, pray, love. Is that a right? book? <laughs> That's a book, oh, no. right? That's a book in a movie. I've seen. Is it, dude? I think that is a movie. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's my it's my <laughs> life motto. It's the it's the ethos I live my life by. <laughs> your mantra. First we live. Your, your daily right. mantra. We need, we need to yeah, live. Explain, if explain, we don't explain. Live, yeah, okay, yeah. explain. We need to live because if we don't live, we die. Right? If we die, we we are not we not here. We dead. So we first we need to live. Right? Okay. Next, we need to laugh because laughter is the best medicine. And you know what keeps us alive? Medicine. Okay. Yeah, and food sometimes. So that's why we eat. So we need to eat to la live and therefore laugh, right? Um, then pray. Now this is the this is the difficult part because okay. you know this is what I've been trying to do with my puppets. They need to pray to their puppeteer, okay, in order for them to keep existing, and that's why I built the Church of O in my oh. Minecraft. Yes, 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 yes. God Here's damn, I'm praying. You heard right? me. You said, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah." Here's the thing. So if you don't pray to your puppeteer, okay. then you aren't able to eat. You won't be able to laugh, and therefore you won't be able to live. Instead, you will be unalived. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. I see. Then for love, well, love makes the world go round, right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> love makes the and money, I guess. So, uh, live, laugh, eat, pray, money, maybe. You gotta change. You gotta change it I to money now. Yeah, yeah. Live, laugh, eat, pray, money, because money makes the world go rounder than love. I see, I see, I see, yeah, I, I don't see. I don't need I don't need love. I need worship. <laughs> oh my god, okay, alright. <laughs> no, 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 not really, not really. <laughs> You're no, not no, 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 no. I think that I think the cult space has already been uh, occupied by uh uh Calteras. The Calter, yeah, the Calter, the Calter. And the the runes? The rune. Right? Yeah, the rune. Yeah, the rune. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just I'm just a humble puppeteer. Okay, 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 okay. I don't do that stuff, for now. For now, okay. At least that's good. Yeah. That's good. So we got we got so Gerard. Live, laugh, eat, pray, money. Okay, so we got Gerard. We got Goldies, and now we have Octavios. I'm literally three out of four. I'm just missing Ruse. I'm gonna have the whole Armist profiles. <laughs> mm. How many how many um friends do you think I'll make on Tinder with with these buzzwords? Um. I don't know. I've never used it. I've never used it as well. Well, that's, I've that's... never <laughs> felt a touch of a human in my life before. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> Me. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think the people in chat have as well. No, that's not where that's why they're watching us. <laughs> so they can so they can Aww. feel alive. They can feel alive with us. All of them all, all, all of them said felt me too. <laughs> Haka. Yeah. Maybe we can touch hands. Oh. No, no, no. We we shouldn't. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a scandalous, yeah. bro. We're we're like idols. We're yeah. in a public setting right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, friends share share Chris Santa hats. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, exactly. I just I just wanted to show off my hands, honestly. Yeah, show off your hands. Go, go, go. Show, show me your hands. Here. Show me your hands. Look. It can move. Okay. That's all? <laughs> That's your range of motion, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, I want to see mine? <laughs> let, me, let me show you mine. Hold up. Check it out. Okay. Check, check it okay, out. Check okay. it out. Check it out. Check it out. God damn, check it out. See? Oh, you can hide your hand? Yeah, bro. I can make the Saul Goodman pose. Whoa, what are you doing? Come behind here, Octavia. Your, Come here, your... Octavia. Come here, Octavia. Give me your hand. Give me your hand, Octavia. We can hold hands together. Beautiful. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> My hand. Just two friends. Just two friends <laughs> holding hands, right? Absolutely. You got beautiful mm. eyes, Octavia. <laughs> this is... No, <laughs> this is this is just what bros do. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> real homies kiss their homies good night. So when we actually get to kiss girls, we we already got practice, you know. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 
bro, that's genius. Right, exactly. That's what I'm talking I've, I've about. I've never heard that before. Even <laughs> Einstein hadn't thought of that before. Exactly, right? bro. You don't think Einstein kisses homies goodnight? He sure did. It probably does. It probably yeah. does. Real yeah. ho real homies do that. And that's how he <laughs> developed the the theory of general relativity. Yeah, exactly. I, I know Ian's... that because of the the Big Bang theory. Do you like the Big Bang theory? I do like. It. Finally, someone! <laughs> oh my God! Someone likes the Big Bang theory what? too. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. I fucking love <laughs> I the know Big a lot Bang of theory don't too. Like it. Yes, dude. Oh yeah. my God! Every time I talk about the Big Bang theory, the Hakitos start rolling their fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys don't have taste like us. No, they surely don't. They, have, they, they surely they don't. Taste. They you surely know, don't. I. I one day I'll grow up to be Sheldon. Bro, that Sheldon's on, Sheldon's on my kin list. Remember, I, I explained you what a kin list is, bro. I know, yeah, your kin is like oh, yeah. Sora. Yeah. <laughs> Sora yeah, for yeah, Kingdom yeah, yeah. Hearts. My, my kin list is just Kingdom Hearts. I, just, yeah, literally. <laughs> everyone from Kingdom Hearts amalgamated into one that's me. That's Octavio. <laughs> oh, Sheldon Cooper. Oh, damn. The, the rebellion in chat after I said I, the I, Sheldon I, thing. I, oh, I no. know. I know. I know exactly. I don't know what the hell is happening what? there. <laughs> what? He's smart. He's weird. But aren't yeah. we all weird? Aren't we all weird? Little ways? Bazinga, right? am I right? <laughs> bazinga. Yeah, bazinga. Bazinga your face, chat. <laughs> Bazinga your face. Oh my god. Alright. Next I mean, question. Look at look at freaking Leonard. Right? His girlfriend his girlfriend the show is Kaylee Kuoko. And you we know what Kaylee Kuoko is? She's a pet lover. Right. Right. She has so many pets. She also like I don't know what the, what do you call that? Adopts? Adopts? Not really adopt. It's like Refugee? You know how they no, 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 that's a, that's a, that's a, what's it called? Temporary time. Uh, host, host, hosting you? Oh, what's the I'm, word? What's I, the I word? Think. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, foster, 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 foster. foster. Yeah, foster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw this video where she fostered like a uh, really cute, cute, but ugly, but cute dog. Mm -hmm. And she ended up adopting it. And it was so cute. Aww. I was like, what? Oh, that's I'm such cute. a big fan of Kaylee Kuoko now, so. <laughs> That's why I love Big Bang Theory as well. She's, uh, she's a pet lover. You love your doggies, don't you? You love puppies, yeah, right? Yeah. So this question so is perfect for you. So my next question Wow, what is... a segue! <laughs> wow! We're waiting for the teleprompter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty slow. Mm. It kind of internet issues. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So I saw your Pupper Axis stream, right? I love that stream so much, I literally had ah. to play the game myself. And I remember oh. that in the portion of the stream where you said that everyone seemed to be a cat person in Armis, you seem to be the only dog person. So, as the designated Dogo lover, I now command you to make a Dogo kin list. Because we, we talked about our kin list before, and I explained you what a kin list is. So now what I need you mm -hmm. to do is I need you to go ahead and designate a dog breed for each boy. Bruh! Okay. Ah. Yeah. Um. <sighs> okay, I'll try my best. However, please don't treat this as the official dog breed okay. versions. Of, wait, uh, who? Uh, Armis? Okay, so first we're going to start with HQ. Then BG and then Armis. Okay, okay, okay. First, I was also surprised when I was like, "Oh, they're all just talking about cats." And I yeah, have a cat, and that, and that's why I adopted a cat myself. So, okay, I'm now a cat person and a dog person. I am okay. both worlds in one. I mean, me too. I have a, I, I have dogs and cats. I will have reptiles if Ooh. I could too. <laughs> oh damn! Now that's the one I don't have. I have fish. You have fish? Those are cute. And they keep dying. Oh. I don't know how it's it's hard. It's that's hard a that's the life cycle of a fish, though. <laughs> yeah, I really I really thought it's just like we'll feed them in the fish tank, give them oxygen, but I don't know. Maybe I need to cuddle with them. But if I cuddle with them, I'll I'm gonna die because I can't breathe in water. So. You really can't take them out for a walk unless you take the whole bowl out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't take them out for a walk because no leash fits them. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. HQ. Okay, HQ. Okay. Dog uh, freed um, Kinless. Assign them. Go. Kin assign them. I said, I said, Sige. I'm such a. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, South Asian language. Okay. Um. First okay. off, Altair. All right. Let's uh, go. Uh, Altair. Altair. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah. Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu okay. Kaisen? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Um, what was what was the queen's dog again? Uh, the Queen Elizabeth dog. Oh, bro, I don't know. A corgi. corgi. A corgi. Yeah, a corgi. Uh, yeah. corgi. Okay, yeah. corgi. Corgi. Uh, Regis Altair is a corgi because he looks like royalty. Okay. His name, right? Regis. Mm. Regal. So a corgi. Okay. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. <laughs> I I think Altair is very corgi-like. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Next, Axel. Axel Senpai. Okay. Um. What's the Japanese corgi? A Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu? Okay. Yeah, okay, the Shiba okay. Inu. Yeah, Shiba Inu. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because okay, the Shiba okay. Inu speaks Japanese. Axel speaks Japanese as well. So they're they're one and the same, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now for Haka Senpai. Okay. Oh. No, bro, you're 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 missing you're, you're, you're HQ HQ first. You're missing Magni Vesper. Oh, oh Magni Vesper. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Magni. Let's see. Mm -hmm. For Vesper, okay. a Great Dane. Okay. Is that a thing? Yeah, a Great Ka Dane. Feel feels 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 like a Great Dane. For Magni, I feel like a uh, a Labrador. A Labrador? Yeah, just because, I agree. Just because he's a Labrador is like very I don't know confident and like intense mm. and cool. That's what I feel like Labrador is. Yeah. Okay. 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 Then we go to Haka. All Haka right. Haka Senpai. Uh, bro. Uh, Chihuahua. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why a Chihuahua out of everything? <laughs> I feel like you're just such a freaking gremlin, like a chihuahua. You just run around and just bark at things and. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, okay, and okay. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> and for Fleon, uh, Pomeranian. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So All I just right. imagine the two of you, like, just running around, you little freaking gremlins, and. Wah, 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 wah. Agreed. And Pomeranian Agreed. being all cute and, like, wah, you're cute. Cute aggression, right? Okay. okay. Now, battle. All right, battle. <laughs> An English bulldog. That's that's a battle. very that's a very interesting one. An English bulldog. I see yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah. Because when I <laughs> when I when I think of an English bulldog, I mm -hmm. think of because <laughs> you know battle does his thing where he's like. Oh, dance with me. You know, he does his, like, mm -hmm. jester thing, mm -hmm. which is kind of, uh, uh, ma ma not, not really majestic. I'm trying to think of the word. It's like, you know, it's like he's, like, in a castle or something like that. Okay. And an English bulldog, even though he looks weird and fat and <laughs> slobby, slobbery, I feel like an English bulldog lives in an English castle yeah. and drinks English tea. It feels it feels very royal, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Okay, yeah, okay, like okay, that. okay, yeah. okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Then for Shinri, mm -hmm. uh, a chow chow. A chow chow is good. <laughs> a chow chow is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're they're big and fluffy. Mm -hmm. They're orange as well, orangish. Yeah. Right, and they have the certain bigness to them. Yeah. Unlike Shinri. Ah. Good. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Yeah, you're cooking. You're cooking. Okay. Mm. Uh, next is uh, Gerard. Gerard T. Rexford. Okay. Um, how do you say that? Dachshund? Dachshund? Uh, Dachshund? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dachshund? little, the little yeah, weenie dog. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, the wiener dog. Agreed. Yes. Little weenie yeah. dog. Very yeah, cute weenie dog. Weenie dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very long, like his tail. 
Mm. Right? And he's very non-threatening. Mm-hmm. But he commands attention when he's in the room because he's very long. He displays strength. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, for Gibby. Ah, okay. easy. I feel like Gibby is a golden retriever. Yeah. 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 Golden very, retriever, really very big, golden really retriever. Very reliable. Very yeah, big boy. This very, yeah, the stature is there. He's, he's just one of the top guys. He's Oh, Gibby is also, I think, like the, the tallest mm-hmm. in Hollow Stars. And I feel yeah, like he's golden like one, retrievers one, are big and tall. Right? He's like 190, isn't he? He's like very tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah Super he's like big. He's 7'10 or something. He can mm. play in the NBA. <laughs> yeah. He's got to get yeah. scouted. <laughs> Mm. Then for Ruse, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ruse is a pug. Ruse is a pug. Why? <laughs> because a pug always looks angry, right? A pug is like, I'm so angry right now. But you can just, well, you, you just cuddle him, and he's like super soft, <laughs> and super cute. But he's always super angry. So yeah, I think. I think it's cute. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I think it fits. I think it fits also yeah. with like the dynamic mm-hmm. that he has, you know. But I also think he'll be a really uh, be a really good Rottweiler. He gives you like the Rottweiler vibes. Oh, true, true, mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the more obvious choice, maybe. Mm-hmm. The true, true. But I see the pug as well. I, I feel the pug <laughs> also goes into it. <laughs> you can literally see his Oshi mark in the face of a pug. Right. All the yeah. Ex- exactly. Yeah, exactly. You can see it. You can see it. Hmm. Okay, what about yourself? <laughs> um, I'm a poodle. You're a poodle? A French poodle? Yeah. Shaved uh, or unshaved? That's... Because <laughs> th- th- those are uh, two shaved. different poodles. Okay, there shaved. we go. Groomed. 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 Okay, so you're a pompous yeah, poodle. Yeah. A French poodle. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Beautiful, fancy. Oh, looks like they're always walking in heels. Okay. Looks like they're going to a party every night. You know, girls' night out. Yeah. yeah. You're uh, carrying a little baggie with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a little bag with me as well. I'm also clothed. All of you boys are just not clothed. Um, yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for your responses, Octavio. I think we have we have now the official dog breed list <laughs> of what yes. the, the Holostars EN I, universe will be. I'm proud parties. of that. I'm proud of that list. I think very beautiful. That is now the official uh, list for um, <laughs> Tempest and Armis. And you can, I th- I I wonder if we join. You know, one of the, those competitions mm-hmm. where where you can show off your dog and they like check out the dog and stuff and do they do like, oh like dog pageants um, and stuff like that yeah 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 mm, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, i think i think we'd slay that absolutely so, absolutely so good yeah. absolutely absolutely we'll scoring in the hundreds <laughs> everybody the will thousands love us. even yeah the thousands. <laughs> a, a dog show yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> A dog show. <laughs> dog show sounds bad. <laughs> That's weird. A dog show? Mm. Yeah, it's 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 it sounds like so like like yeah yeah yeah. It should it should be like fancier. It should be like a dog exposition. Like oh. dog expo. You know that sounds like dog, fancier. A dog inquisition. I don't know. Exposition, not inquisition. Expo- exposition. <laughs> exposition. Jesus. Uh. Uh. All right, all right. Thank you for the wonderful question. That was of course, of course. Enlightening. My my beautiful Octavio, of course. Now, so for my next question, as you mentioned your lovely Armis brothers, from what I've seen Mm. in the hideout, I can see the members of Armis love to banter and lovingly bully each other. You may not like this, but I'm going to ask you what are three things about or moments that made you really appreciate being in the Armis family? Don't worry, don't worry, mm. Armada. I won't tell them, I won't tell them. It's just between us, okay? Shh, yeah, secret, it's just between secret. us. Top secret. It's gonna be sappy. <laughs> this is gonna be wholesome Yeah, yeah, don't worry, cute. don't worry. They, they will not and watch I'll... this, okay? I'll, 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 yeah. cover their, I'll cover their eyes. Screw them. You know what? Ban them right now. I hate them. I Absolutely. I when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, I guess the first moment... Uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to trying to dig my memory here. All right. Oh yeah, I I guess I told this story a little bit of this story 
when I did a Zatsudan. But oh, okay. um, when we first joined our Discord, mm-hmm. um, when we first joined our Discord, mm-hmm. I wasn't able to join it immediately because mm-hmm. I was driving. Oh, I was driving at the time. Yeah, yeah. I think you told and me about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a two-hour drive as well. So for two hours. All of them, all of the Armis boys and the Manisans were talking in chat and having a fun time. I assume they're having a fun time. And I was just there driving, being all FOMO and be like, I wanna I wanna be part of that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm missing out, right? Mm-hmm. But then two hours later, so I was already expecting them to show their uh, show their bodies, to take pictures of themselves and just share them in chat at that point, right? Because at that point we still haven't seen each other. We only knew like the names, I guess, and stuff. Mm. So I was like, "Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna feel. I'm gonna feel a little bit bad because they're gonna be showing their models already, and I can't. I literally can't. Oh, ma, ma, or else ma, I'll die. Ma, models? What's that? I, I mean, ma, ma, man bodies. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Man mandals, man handles. Okay, yes. okay, okay. man handles. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay, all strike right. Strike that word from my vocabulary, right? So. Then two hours later, I checked the chat and I was like, oh man, fine. I, I'm left out again. See, that's one of my biggest fears always. Mm-hmm. Is one of the things that happens is usually you go into something as a group. But then for some reason, for some weird reason, there's always something that kind of, uh, for example, let's say it's a workplace environment. And there's mm-hmm. this one specific day where I can't go to work because I have something to do. Or I'm mm-hmm, sick mm-hmm. or something. And then always something interesting happens at work. Oh, and that happens to me all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then yeah. when you come back, you feel like you missed an episode. You feel like, oh no, I I've I'm now lagging behind when it comes to Nakama ship. Right? Dude, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. And then you feel the rift grow apart and you're like, oh no, it's over. It's, it's the over. FOMO. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then what happened was two hours later, I joined the Discord and I found out, oh, they didn't share their models yet. No, oh, because models. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're man ball, balls. Oh, balls. Okay. I, man I'm balls. Man, okay. Man, man balls. Man, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They sh- didn't show their man balls yet. And then I was like, oh, wait, did they wait for me? I felt bad, but also I felt kind of, oh, they, they waited for me, right? To show yeah. the, the man balls. Okay. And so we hopped on a Discord call. And that's when we showed our man balls to each other, and it, it that's was, beautiful. It was super, it, yeah. It was super fun, and the man is the man is weren't there anymore. It was just us four, and I remember I was outside. I was outside, and we showed the man balls to each other, and I was like, I was screaming. There were people around me. I was screaming, "Oh, you look so good! You're so beautiful! Oh, you're so handsome! You're so buff!" And then they saw my man balls as well. Like, wow, you boy, you don't look like you belong to the bad ones. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but, but I was super happy at that time. I How did the sassy time. kid get here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that was right. a fun time. It was, I was, uh, I think it was touching that they didn't show mm. the man balls yet while I was away. Also mm-hmm. felt ashamed, but still, it was, it was a nice moment. Yeah. Second one. Okay. Was I also talked about this before, but remember me and Ruse debuted on the second day, mm. and there was a collab right after. Mm-hmm. Now during that time when we were still in the waiting room for our collab, we were in the Discord call. I was like, guys, I'm not in the headspace to be 100 percent here during this collab. Mm-hmm. I'm still reeling from the experience of debut. Yeah. And then Gibby and Gerard were like, no, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. We're all together now. Aww. And that's what matters, right? We're not we're not alone anymore. We're not debuting solo. We're in one group, we're Armis, and it's gonna be okay. We mm-hmm. can carry the stream if you want to, if you want to relax and stuff like that. And I was like, oh. That's very sweet oh, of them. Oh. ga kire. Yeah, yeah. That was, oh, shit. I'm part of a group. If right? Not, not only yeah, a group, yeah. a family, dude. That's the beautiful thing about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know? True, that's true. So mm-hmm. I, I really love that moment. And I guess the third moment is the Minecraft uh, game, play the stream kind of collabish that we did all five <laughs> of us in minecraft yeah. come to minecraft thing yeah because like i said earlier i don't really play games mm-hmm. off 
offline anymore, off stream. Mm. And you know how when you play a game on stream, there's always this element of you playing things up. It's still genuine. It's, you're not trying to be disingenuous, but of course, there's an entertainment. There's an entertainment factor of it. Yeah, of course. You need to entertain fans and chat and the your collab mates as well. But during that time, I wasn't streaming, and literally, I was just I was just playing with the boys. Yeah, I was yeah. So, yeah. I was so relaxed then. I was like, wow, because I'm sure all of you have this kind of experience. But mm -hmm. it doesn't it kind of suck that when you're a kid, there isn't a lot of people that you can share your passions with. Yeah, with I, games. I, I and absolutely music agree. Or, and I was like, oh man, maybe one day, maybe one day. I'll have like a group of friends that I can just play with every week and talk to like every day or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just talk about games and stuff. And I was playing Minecraft the other day and I was like, well, I think this is my time. I'm finally yeah. here. <laughs> I'm finally at this moment. I'm just playing Minecraft. They're streaming, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm just there, you know? I, I'm just really happy point, to right, be we there. Were, <laughs> yeah, we weren't even playing at one point. I was just chatting with, with all of you. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's that's the latest moment that um, I really love being Aww. here in the uh, the Armus Tempus right. family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's the most beautiful thing, dude. Like you know, like not only you found like a really good like good group of friends, like we're all really a uh, close knit family. You know, like the best part of like being together, like in such a beautiful place like Holo Stars, is that we can all be there for each other. You know. And not only yeah, that, yeah. we also have such a beautiful, like, group of support, like, you know, the Armada, the Tempuras, the Hakitos, the Octoposi. Mm. They really make everything worth it. <laughs> and that's the, that's the best, best part of it. Like, you know, you're, they're there for you. They're there for, like, you know, your personality, your voice, which is very beautiful, by the way. I have a question regarding that in a couple of minutes. Uh, my voice? Your voice is very, very nice, dude. Do you... <sighs> Your Thank voice you. is absolutely divine, honestly, and you have you have such a beautiful personality as well. You're very smart, and I just really can't e express how happy I am that you're here. Seriously, <laughs> it's very, Aww. very, it's very, very good well, to have you. you. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy you feel welcome, though. I I know how that yeah. feels. When I joined Holo Stars as well, I was also doing my exorcist job, you know. And there were moments where the boys were hanging out, and I just really couldn't join it because I was, you know, doing my exorcist duties and stuff like that. But thankfully, mm, I've been blessed with I the see, opportunity, you know, to be here. And the fact that I can just literally hop on a call with them at 4 a.m. in the morning and, you know, just basically not worry too much about it is very, very good. So I, yeah, I, know, I know exactly that's, how that's that great. feels. The, the FOMO, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The FOMO really, really hits hard whenever you feel like, you know, like you're not there for something because you're just like, oh, no, I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly at that point yet, but mm. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I believe and in you, dude. I'm excited to finally get there. You know? <laughs> it's something I've definitely been uh, dreaming. Mm. Maybe a dream I've almost give up, given up on, mm -hmm. but for some reason... I'm here. Yeah. And not for some reason. Really, you're here really for fun. a reason. The reason <laughs> is that yeah, you're yeah. you are an insanely talented individual. Mm -hmm. And not just Thank that, you're you a great person as well. <laughs> 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 you made it, dude. You're here. <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh no, is is are you okay? Hello? Oh no! Octavio? <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> You're. Are you okay? Oh no. Wait. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's just. He's just a very. He's just very puppet shy right now. <laughs> he's just very puppet shy. Give him some time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait, he's not crying. <laughs> are you are you muted, Octavio? Hello? <laughs> huh? Wait, hold up, hold up. This is a magic trick. This is a magic trick. I'm a ventriloquist. Check it out. Check it out. Octavio, move your lips. Hi. 
This is Octavio, and I'm very happy to be here. It's so wonderful to be in Holostar's EN. It makes me really happy to to have such amazing friends and 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 and, and, and family. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, yeah. You, you like I'm that? Back. You like that? Yo, I'm check back. it out. Yeah, yeah. That was a sick, yeah, sick yeah, trick, yeah. right? Yeah, that was. We planned that. <laughs> we absolutely, absolutely yeah. planned that one, dude. You thought he thought I was disconnected or whatever? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That was nah, just nah, a, nah, nah. that was just a ventriloquist bit, bro. Yeah, you've absolutely been, uh, you've killed been it. indoctrinated into Octavo's <laughs> puppet show. Everything you see is real and planned and meticulously. Uh, planned, yeah, planned. Exactly. Absolutely, planned. absolutely. Just as Keikaku! That's Japanese <laughs> for plan. Keikaku means Japanese mm. for plan. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just in case oh you didn't know, God. Nihongo Jozu. Ah, Nihongo Jozu. The most Josuist of the Nihongos, I see. <laughs> True. All right. All right, all right, all right. But yeah, dude, seriously, it's it's so, so nice to have you here. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm not kidding. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you're you're the first one I was able to hop into a voice chat with. <laughs> I told them. Um, I told yeah. them. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I told them the story. I told them the story that like when you when you guys were you know when you guys got it when we heard about the great tales of the Badlands, and I I got myself into I got my hands into a, a messenger pigeon. The first person I sent the correspondence to was actually Toctavio. And we we, we, oh. we we met up in the tavern. We met up in the tavern and we had a very nice chat. Is that for real? For real, for real. <laughs> oh, uh, am I your favorite? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you really are up there. <laughs> I believe you because, of course, I'm everyone's favorite. Absolutely, I'm absolutely. the lucky one. You got the I'm you got the, the one looks. Who wins a casino. You got the looks. You got the you got the beautiful personality. You got the voice. You won the genetic lottery. <laughs> yeah, very humble as well. Mm -hmm. Very humble and very kind. And very smart humble. And important. Absolutely, very important. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah. Speaking of your voice, though, here comes my next question. Your voice. Mm. As I mentioned before, it's absolutely divine. For any aspiring vocalist watching, what is a tip or two that you would give to someone who wants to be an amazing singer like you? Um. Wait, hold up. Um, just, okay. just, just don't talk yet. Hold up. I'm, I'm just writing this up. Hold up. Okay. Skibbity toilet. Oh God. Okay. No. Re okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Better write that down. I'm, 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 okay. Honestly, honestly, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, no reason, no reason. The the biggest advice I can mm. give to anybody is, don't just sing. I guess, mm. um, especially when you're practicing. Mm -hmm. I feel like vocal warm ups and exercises mm. are much more important than you just singing every day, because Agreed. I feel like. Um, because before I just sing and be like, oh, I'm 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 getting better, but mm -hmm. the thing is, the more you sing, especially if you're limited to a certain type of you know song or stuff like that, yeah, a range, you tend to develop habits that are specific to that song, yeah, which might not work for others. Whereas mm -hmm. for your exercises and warm ups, they, especially for the good ones, they kind mm -hmm. of give you. Um, they kind of train good habits within you of how to use your voice and how to how to breathe properly and stuff like that. Agreed. For example, if you're singing, if you're just singing My Chemical Romance, mm -hmm. you're gonna be start singing a certain way, and right. you're gonna find out it might not work for every, every song. other song. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's one of the things. Never, never. Sometimes it's even just better to just do a vocal exercise, a warm up. And not even sing. Just Agreed. If, if you don't have time, just prioritize that instead. Instead of straight up singing. Um, also, you'll be able to take care of your voice a little bit better that way. Because at mm -hmm. least the exercises and warm-ups are more structured. And are... You know, you can stop whenever you want to. Right. When you're doing the warm-ups exactly. or exercises. But if you're singing a song, you'll be like, No! I'm gonna be the next Gerard Way! I'm gonna sing I this. I wanna finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sing this in the G note. 
Right, exactly. The G, G scale or whatever. G key. Mm. Like you. I do know that you don't you don't transpose songs. So honestly, <laughs> I'm I'm, bi- I'm a bit nervous doing a duet collab with you because I need to get good. <laughs> no. I mean, honestly, like I, <laughs> the reason why I do that is because I love to challenge myself. Like I am I am also a self-taught singer and I know the importance of like, you know, vocal warm-ups, like basically having the discipline to train your voice. So, I mm-hmm. I absolutely agree with you. Like honestly, like yeah. si- singing is such a tool, but at the same time, it's such a powerful language as well. Music is beautiful. I mm. love music, mm. and I know both of us really do love music as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh. music, music is great. It, it has also enabled me to. It has op- also opened a lot of doors for me. Yeah, so I feel I'm, that exactly. So I'm very thankful for it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's it's always good, you know. This... It's always good. This is becoming way more wholesome than I, than I wanted it to be. I want people to know me as like ah, I'm more evil than everyone else. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. You know what? You know what? Uh, being with you here in this interview, mm. and you are so freaking. I don't know how you do it. You're also so open with your words and how you your feelings <laughs> and stuff like that. You did you did say sorry. I'm a soft boy sometimes because mm. you you DM me one day and you said all these nice things. And I hope to one day you know be like that as well. Uh. <laughs> um, where can I just say? Where can I just I can just compliment people freely and not feel awkward or weird about it because I do kind of feel weird sometimes. Mm. But I really do want to change that about myself. But yeah, thank you, thank. Thank you so much for all the nice words you're telling me. Of course, me. dude. I you've mean, been telling me so many words ever since I got in here. I'm just being and honest, all, dude. And eighty percent is all caps. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> it really, really, really is, dude. I, I love typing in yeah. caps. And this thing, a bunsing hawk, a tweet if it's not in all caps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but same as you, dude. Honestly, you know, having someone like as passionate as you, having someone as you know, with such a big heart as well, really makes me happy, you know, because like I feel we're very similar in multiple ways. So yes, I love yes. that. You know, it's 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 always good to like be able to share like a common, you know, like common trait with someone because it just basically becomes like very natural to just like have a conversation, you know, like like build a relationship, you know, it's it's really good. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I think that's the happy. best part of I'm it. I'm super happy. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> you you're good, why, buddy. Why do I, why do I have a super cool senpai? Why nah. is it? Why? Is, why? I just became why? a senpai, dude. I still have lots to learn, and hopefully, we can both learn at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you can learn how to be a senpai from me. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. you you have the senpai energy. <laughs> yeah, I definitely. I don't have this jacket for nothing. Right, the shoulder, the shoulder pads. Yeah, the shoulder pads are mm. to display your range. <laughs> yeah, and to assert my dominance on your inky dinky small shoulders. Oh wow! So we're getting personal now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of displaying your range, actually, Octavia and I came up with an idea one hour before the interview to basically showcase Octavia's talent, which is singing, his beautiful voice, his amazing, amazing, amazing skill set that he has. And we cooked this up one hour before the interview, yeah. and we sped ran it. So with Octavio, we have prepared a wonderful puppet show for you guys. Would you guys like to see that beautiful puppet show that we have together? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I do want to see it. All yeah. righty, let's let me go ahead and show you guys our lovely yeah. puppet show. <laughs>
Okay, thanks. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> How'd you guys like our special puppet show? <laughs> yeah. See that? Two worlds collide. Two words the colliding. Puppet <laughs> the puppet and <laughs> Haka. The burb. <laughs> Dude. Oh my fucking god. I remember like hitting up Octavia like one hour before the interview and I was like, are you free? And he's like, I just woke up. Why? It was like, what if we cook a duet? Yeah. Yeah, I still had sand in my eyes. Like, yeah, yeah, he was all something. crusty. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. It was amazing, dude. I, I want to give you I want to give you a really, 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 really big thanks because dude, you did the timing and tuning for that. You did absolutely amazing. Ah, and I took yeah. care of the of the mastering and mixing. It was fucking insane. Oh, the, the fact mix that was, was great. <laughs> the, the fact heck? that we came up with that shit in one hour was amazing. <laughs> See? We're I I know what our subunit is gonna be called. Hollow yeah. audio engineers. Hollow audio engineers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hollow mixers. <laughs> yeah, hollow mixers. See? Oh my fucking we're too powerful. god, dude. We're so we're fucking powerful, powerful together. <laughs> we made, we made, we recorded that, we mixed that, and then we made a music video. Yeah, the choreography was made by by our lovely uh, puppeteer Octavio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got choreo See? <laughs> that choreography I, hit, dude. It was I, amazing. I can dance. <laughs> we both can the, dance. Uh, you taught you me. See the too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You see the hurricane step? That was a hurricane step. Bro, it was then amazing. Then there was uh, the rock the boat step. Dude. Rock the boat in honestly, Disneyland step. We really transformed mm -hmm. into idols for that one, you know? We, it, it basically yeah, activated yeah. an idol switch. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, dude. Thank you so much for agreeing to do that with me Yo, to just short notice. Yeah. It was just a silly little idea that just came into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love it so much. I love it. Give me all your silly little ideas and let's Fuck yeah, execute dude. on it. Honestly, we should do this more often. Yeah. We could really cook yeah. shit up super, super fast. So I think it'll be really nice to, yeah. you know, maybe here and there, just surprise our lovely tempura and armada with, you know, just very silly little funky duets. <laughs> mm, mm. But I'm your range, dude, that. your fucking range. Like, no when way. I, I, when... I, had to, I had to dig really high. <laughs> it's like Minecraft. I'm digging yeah? upwards You're digging to, to get that. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking good. Thank you so much for agreeing to do that with me, Octavia. Seriously, thank you so so much once again as well for coming to my interview. It's been uh, nothing. It's over? No, it's not Aww. over yet. We still have one more question uh. though. But first, oh. before we get to Ooh. that question, I wanted to really really thank you for taking your time to be here. And for honestly oh, thank you. being such I mean, <laughs> an amazing go <laughs> Wow! Wow! I made Haka Senpai cry. I'm so good at being a go high. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> every uh, you're everything I trained for. <laughs> Don't say those things. Don't say those things. They go straight to my doki doki. Yeah. My Kokoro, my Kokoro is Your, a Doki Doki. Doki Doki? Or in a, or in a, or in a Kama ship is showing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Nakama ship. You're now officially a Tomodachi-san. Oh, shit, and we dude. share a Nakama ship. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you're you're my Nakama, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh, you're my Nakama as well. Fuck yeah, dude. We, we, we freaking nakama it up in here. <laughs> Get, get the hell out of here. <laughs> your music skills might be solid, but your pun work your your pun work still needs work. <laughs> but before we wrap this up, these I wanted nuts! Why did you just de snub me? Don't you just do it? I mean yeah, you really just do it. <laughs> <laughs> ha, got got him. Got him! Got him! <laughs> got him. <laughs> oh, Octavia, never change a little freak. <laughs> I call him little, but he's like, he's like so much fucking taller than me. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was as small as you. No, bro. L let me tell you that you and your stretch itself and your wide angles are beautiful as they are for any type of person. This is because... actually my actual height. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, but finally, finally, people accepted the reality that I am a giant, you know? After my interview with Vesper, people really like to like debunk that theory, but no. I am actually uh, five meters tall. And I, the reason why I look so small 
is because I, whenever I get in front of the camera, I have to go really far away to not hide the whole, like, you know, the, the whole, like, angle. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Know. That's my cool high. From, that's that's I my. Know, I, I hear you from here. Dude, it's dude, very dude, far. Do you still hear me, Octavio? Yeah. You're, You're sure? five meters away from me. You're so tall. Don't worry. Just say not. Just not if you understand me. <laughs> I'm nodding. <laughs> it's perspective. It's perspective. <laughs> yeah. You freaking Lord of the Rings in here. Yeah, Force yeah, perspective. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All righty, my little beautiful Octavio. Before we end this, let's go ahead and wrap this up in a beautiful Vesper fashion. Ask me anything you want to know about me, and I'll respond back to you. Is there any question you have for me or anything you want to know about me? Would you be willing to drink a full glass of pilk? You know what? If it tastes anything like an ice cream float, I would absolutely do it. Would you do it? Would you drink a glass of pilk? I've drank maybe 10 glasses of pilk by now. Do you like pilk? Yes, I do. I actually never... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty curious. I'm pretty curious in how pilk tastes like. Because if it's like... You see, if you grab like like pilk, like for example, Pepsi, right? Like the, like the, the, the initial of pilk, and you maybe add some vanilla ice cream to it, and you stir it up, that's like a cream soda, wouldn't it be? That feels like silk. Why silk? Right in milk. Oh no 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 no! Okay okay, that, that's when you cross a line. It needs to be it needs to be cola flavored. I feel that that would not work uh... if it was like Sprite or Fanta or like <laughs> mm, like yeah, that would uh... not work. It just needs would to be like. Would you try Sprite and milk? No, probably not because of the uh... Uh, because of the acidic properties of like of like Sprite also having like freaking what the, lemon. What the heck is this? Are you a freaking chemist? I mean, How do you know acidic properties, bro. It's a fucking citric acid. They add you that shit. That shit decomposes the milk bro, so fast. That's such smart, intelligent steak. <laughs> You're so smart. It's I don't know. I don't know anything about Sprite. <laughs> is it just water and air? I mean, it technically <laughs> it's is. Just spicy water. It's yeah. <laughs> no, I would say spicy water is Dr Pepper. Pilk that... though. Pilk. No, pil I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do it. Just for you. Pilk. One of these days, whenever I don't have anything to drink, I will consider drinking the pilk just for okay. you, Octavia. <laughs> yes, be con be converted. Be converted. Be converted. And whenever yes. I have my glass of pilk ready, you need to drop anything you're doing. You literally need to like run to the kitchen and make yourself and make yourself a glass of pilk so we can both drink it oh, together sure, at the same sure. time. Okay. Because like I'm gonna so, buy. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it this way. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You Close. with a glass of pilk, right, in one side of the world. Me with a glass of pilk in the other side of the world. That means our intestines are connected. If we drink it at the same time, both pilks are going to touch and it's going to be beautiful. Oh. Oh. It's like, it's like the world suddenly opened up to me. Right? Exactly. It's like I can understand what it is. To live <laughs> in Elysium. In, exactly. It's all about connecting intestines through Exactly. Pilk. That is what real friendship is about. Connected intestines through pilk. Oh, we can tie it together like a pinky promise. Or we can say we were always tied. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> when the moment no always tied. <laughs> is this a promo for Always Tight again? Re-release on Spotify? Re-release -re on Spotify. Uh, Giga Camellia Remix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Holy shit. It was all planned. It was all, it was all planned, planned, bro. It was all planned. Yeah. It was all planned. The waiting room is up. <laughs> Just check it. Don't worry. Check oh, it. Imagine, dude. That would yeah. be hard, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no seriously dude thank you so 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 much yeah, for coming so to the much. interview that was super fun yeah of i was course. nervous when i when we started but it know. eases down dude we're it's, we're, we're, yeah, we're chill yeah. like that you know we're chill like that we yeah. held hands we can stop the world together now and we tied our intestines <laughs> and we're always like tied beautiful yeah. beautiful beautiful i see around we... the world tree imagine absolutely that scene, the great hollow tree each other Running around the world, the hollow tree. 
You might know this, but like, how exactly, how, how, how long are, are our intestines? What's the measurement? Like if, if you if you if you take someone someone intestines out and you lay them on the ground, how how long would that be? I'll get back to you on that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I, I need you to make those measurements for me <laughs> for a very specific purpose. <laughs> I know I know that information. I just need to consult the archives. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, <laughs> thank you so much for coming to the interview. Thank you for being such uh, a wonderful you, you. Kohai. I know you have stuff thank to you. do, so we're probably going to have to wrap this up here. But let's end this with a beautiful Otsu star to the count of three, shall we? Okay, let's Alrighty. do it. Alrighty, in three, <gasps> two, one. Otsu star! Otsu star! <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you so, so much for coming. Thank Octavio, you, thank, thank you, you so much for coming. Uh, Tempura, thank you, well, thank you so much Haka. for coming. Armada, Octoposi, Hakitos, we love you all. And thank I don't you. know, if you guys behave well, maybe we're going to upload our little duet on Twitter. Just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so, so much for every... I'm going to kill you. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Haka la vista. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I am not sure who is streaming right now, so let me go ahead and check so I can go ahead and read you guys over to whoever is streaming right now. Actually, isn't Gama Senpai going to be uh, revealing his new outfit? Guys, I need your help. Who's streaming? Who's streaming? Who's streaming? Who's streaming? Fuma Senpai is streaming? Wait, is he? Oh, it's Fuma Senpai today. Okay. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and send you guys over to Fuma Senpai's waiting room. His outfit's going to be revealed uh, uh today at 4 a.m. <sighs> Flay is streaming, but it, it's does he have a waiting room up? Does he? Flay in a few minutes. Okay, if Flay is streaming, let's go ahead and send you guys over to Flayon. Does he have a waiting room open? Fleon, Fleon, Fleon. The Flay Flay returns once more. Okay, I'm gonna send you guys over to Fleon. Make sure to give Fleon lots of love and thank you so much for coming to the interview. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a beautiful hand cam stream of Christmas ornament decoration. So, thank you so, so, so much for coming and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Hakala vista. Ah!